Yes, Excuse me. Uh, Yehola, Yavala, Jubilee. Jubilee 29, I believe it is. Yehalem 29. Amen. Amen. Jubilee 29. And this is called Brothers Are Reunited. Kind of Brothers Are Reunited. Hallelujah. Helium 29. Jubilee 29. Page 286. I give honor to Yahuwah Elohim, who is my Elohim, who is my Adonai. I thank him for his love, mercy, and grace upon my life. I thank him for the Yah Hakadash, the most precious gift that he's given me. The Yah Hakadash, I thank him for my Israel. Oh, I thank him for her, because I'm a group man to have such a wonderful Israel by my side. A woman of other him. I thank him for her. I thank him for your late mother. I thank him for Hattie. I thank him for all our children. I thank him for all our viewers that will be viewing us later on. I just think I have so much to be thankful for. Thank you for a new heart, new mind, new, new everything. I just thank you for, for each one that does it. I thank you for corrections. I thank him for the chastisement. I just thank you because he's so wonderful. He does correct those whom he loves. And I thank you for my chastisement and my corrections. So I praise you who are, for that. Amen. You who are homicide, we come before you to say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. We're just asking you to help us right now to decrease and you increase in our life. We're asking you to lead us and guide us on the pathway of production and righteousness. Help us to be true and faithful to you in everything that we do. Help us that we don't turn to the left nor to the right, but that we stay on the straight and narrow highway thanking you and doing all the things that you have commanded us to do, helping us, you who are, oh, to love you with all our heart, God, and all your commandments, all your statutes, and all your mysteries. Yes, you who are, saying yes to your will and your way, shunning all evil and wickedness, avoiding all our heart, mind, and soul, being a doer of your word and of your truth. We thank you, you who are, in the most precious name, you sure have say, we do say, Amen. 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 In 28, we saw that Yehah was deceived by the van. And now we're going to see that the brothers are going to be what? United. Reunited. And we got to know and understand that we just saying that we are Kadash. We just saying that we know you for. Uh, we got to have forgiveness in our hearts for our fellow men, our fellow brothers, our fellow sisters. We gotta learn how to, how to have forgiveness. And then we can have be forgiven. But we know that Yahuwah Elohim has forgiven us of very much. Oh yes. And Yahushua Hamasia got on that torture stake for us to be forgiven of all of our sins, which he had committed no sin. He didn't have to get on that torture stake for our sake. But he did. Because he wanted to, us to be forgiven of all our iniquities, all of our wicked ways. And I thank him for his sacrifice. I thank him yes. for his love, his mercy and grace. Because he did not have to do it. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to do likewise, how to be forgiven of our brothers and sisters. Yes. It seems like a lot of times in families especially, the grudges, uh, hatred, has been held in the family for years. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you don't even know what the original grudge or the original hatred was all about. You just not figure, or oh, I disliked them, I uh, hated them, mm -hmm. so for whatever reason I'm going to continue on hating them. Okay. And, it's, and, 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 the, and the wickedness has gone by. They may even try to have apologized, but still keep on hating one another. And that is causing the families to be dysfunctional. And this is a thing that is coming from Satan. And it should not be named among us 
and the sand that we could dust, that we know Yahuwah Elohim. Amen. That Yahuwah is our Adana, He's our Master. Yes, He is. See, oh, and we're, no, we're still hating that we're not guarding His words, we're not guarding the commandments, nor are we guarding the statutes. Amen. So true. You know, so we got to get out of that hatred mode. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So true. And it came to pass, number 29 and 1, and it came to pass when Rachel had born Joseph that Laban went to shear his sheep, for they were distant from him a three days journey. And Jacob saw that Laban was going to shear his sheep. And Jacob called Leah and Rachel and spoke kindly unto them that they should come with him to the land of Canaan. For he told them how he had seen everything in a dream, even all that had spoken unto him, that he should return to his father's house. And they said to him, and they said, To whatever place, whither you go, we will go with you. So his wife said they were going to journey with him. Mm -hmm. That they, you know, they were not grieved about leaving in their homeland. Mm -hmm. And notice that he did not force them to come with him. No. He asked them would they come with him. Amen. He wanted them to come with him. Yes. He wanted his family to be with him. Yes. Yeah, I mean, he didn't, he didn't force them. He said you had to, you better come or anything like that. But he asked them in love and with love. And they wanted to go ahead on and return with him. Yes. They wanted him to be happy also. Amen. And see, that's what love is about, trying to please what one another. That's right. You know, in a what, uh, Elohim fashion, not just trying to please everybody in the flesh mm -hmm. or, you know, with wickedness and evil, no. but to try to do it in a righteous and a kadash manner. You know, that's how we want to be pleasing. Because we want to make sure, first of all, that we're pleasing to your poor Elohim. Amen. That we're walking upright before Him. Yes. That's going to be most important of all things, that we're pleasing vessels unto your poor Elohim. And so you see that His family wanted to be what a pleasing vessel. Amen. And number four. And Yehikah Baruch, the Elohim of Yeshak, his father, and the Elohim of Abraham, his father's father. And he arose and mounted his women and his children and took all his possessions and crossed the river and came to the land of Gilead. And Yehikah hid his intentions for Levan and told him not. Uh, he didn't tell Levan what he was going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, he knew that Levan was going to try to go to him, try to deceive him again. And, and try to stop him from leaving. So he just went on and left. You know, he took all of his possessions. But notice what he did. He baruch Yahuwah Elohim. Yes. And see, that's what we always need to do. Whenever that Yahuwah Elohim does anything for us, we need to give him baruch, barak, thanking him for his mercy, thanking him for his grace, and thanking him for the thing that he's doing for us or is about to do for us. We should not just take Yahuwah for granted. Amen. We should go up there and be a pleasing vessel and give him the thanks and give him the glory for what he has done. Yes. Give him the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And number five, and in the seventh year of the fourth week, Jacob turned his face towards Gilead in the first month. On the 21st thereof, and Levan pursued after him, and overtook Jacob in the mountain of Gilead in the third month. On the 30th thereof, and Yahuwah did not suffer him to enter Jacob, for he appeared to him in a dream by night, and Levan spoke to Jacob. Oh. Yekai was angry at first. I know he wanted to go up there and do harm to uh, Yekai. 
him would do harm to get it up. The band would do harm. He wanted to harm David. He wanted to hurt him. But Yahushua, Yahua, would not allow that to happen. Would not allow him to injure him or to hurt him in any form or any shape or any fashion. Because Yahweh was under the protection of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah was protected his servant. Thank you, Yahuwah. And on the 15th of those days, number 7, Yehikah made a feast for Levan and for all who came with him. And Yehikah swore to Levan that day. And Levan said also unto Yehikah that neither should cross that neither should cross the mountain of Gilead to the other with evil purpose. And he made there a heap for a witness. Wherefore the name of that place is called the heap of witness. And after, after this heap, but before they used to call the land of Gilead the land of Rephaim, for it was the land of the Rephaim, and the Rephaim were born there. Rephaim, whose height was ten, nine, eight, down to seven cubits. They were very tall people. Sure. Hallelujah. Very tall people. Amen. And their habitation was from the land of the children of Ammon to Mount Termah. And the seats of their kingdom were Catanium, Astaroth, and Elderly, and Mishur, and Beyond. And Yahuwah destroyed them because of the evil of their deeds. For they were malignant. For they were very malignant. And the Emerald dwelt in their stead, wicked and sinful. And there are no people today who have wrought to the full of their sins. And they have no longer length of life on the earth. The saying he destroyed them because of how evil and how wicked they were in those days. They said people have not even come close to doing the evil that had been done oh, by them. Oh. But now I'm here to tell you that here in America, in this entire world, I don't care in every country, every land, every nationality, every color of skin, are committing all sorts of wicked atrocity oh, yeah. and Yahuwah is not pleased. Not He's we're getting ready to fall into the hands of a very angry, angry Yahuwah. Oh, a very nice. angry Yahuwah. Because of the evil that's in the hearts of men. Because they do not want to repent of this sin sinful and wicked ways. A very evil generation we're living in. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Julia. And number 12. And Yehikah sent away Levan, and he departed into Abram, Naharim, the land of the east. And Yehikah returned to the land of Gilead. And he passed over the Yabah in the ninth month, on the eleventh thereof. And on that day, Esau, his brother, came to him, and he was reconciled to him, and departed from him into the land, unto the land of Syria, but Yehikah dwelt in tents. See, they were re came reconciled together. Yes. They began to put love one another once again. Yes, hallelujah. To forgive each other of the sins and the weakness that they had done. Mm -hmm. You know, it might have been temporary, but at least it was done. Amen. Amen. They got it right. They got it right. Hallelujah. And see, this is what we must do with our families, with our friends, with our associates, 
that, you know, let us get it right, at least attempt to try and what? Get it right. You know, get it right. Because the place that we want to go to is the kingdom of Yahuwah Elohim. Yes. And no unforgiveness, no evil, no wickedness. You shall enter into that kingdom of Yahuwah Elohim. Amen. And we want to spend eternity with Him, then we're going to be like Him, and we're going to have a forgiving heart. Heart. We're going to have a forgiving ruach. We can't hold grudges. We can't hold hatred. You know. I know a lot of times uh, uh, my issues got to get on me for, you know, some of the ways I think sometimes, you know, to give me what a more of a forgiving heart. She tell me, she make suggestions that I do this and do that, you know, and she'll do that for me, you know, which is a baruch. I mean, because I can hold, you know, I can hold a grudge myself at times. I tell on my own self because she just grudge does not just come for you, but it comes for all of us. And I, I have to be cleansed and purged by the word myself a lot of times. I mean, yeah. Because I'm not going to try to pretend and act like I'm all of this and I'm all of that. And I know I'm walking this way and I'll be walking contrary to the word. So therefore I know I got to get on track because of chastisement that is coming what for Norman. See, um, you know, uh, yeah, I, I got to look at Norman. See, I can't look at you and say, ah, I just worried for you. Mm -hmm. But this word comes for all of us, that we all will walk upright, that we all obey the commandments, the statutes of Yahuwah, Elohim. Yes. That we live the word according as he has said that he wants us to live it. Hallelujah. Yeah, we we got to have that love. Yes. And we see that it's not in us. The only thing we can do is right. repent, pray, and get it right. Yes, sir. We've got to get it right. I'm in. There's no Man. need to be bullheaded, to be stubborn, no, no. and refuse to repent, and refuse to get it right. Because if we do that, then you're going to end up going through that burning right. hell. Yes, and I have declared that that burning hell is not for Norman Ghost. Hallelujah. It's not for me. I got to spend eternity with Yahuwah Elohim. Oh, yeah. And so that means that I got to line up with the Word. You have to line up with the Word. Everybody has to line up with the Word. There is no exception. You know, just because I stand before you and teach and preach this Word does not mean that I'm exempt no, from no. the Word. Oh, None no. of us is exempt Part from the Word. Fresh I got to be what first partaker of the truth. Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Fourteen. And number fourteen. And in the first year of the fifth week in the Jubilee, he crossed the yard and dwelt beyond the yard. And he pastured his sheep from the sea of the heat unto Bet Shean, unto Dothan, and to the forest of Ma Alak Agrechabim. And he sent to his father Yishak of all his substance, clothing and food, milk, and yeah. meat and drink and milk and butter, and cheese, and some dates of the valley. So he took care of his father. Mm -hmm. He sent him food. He sent him what he thought that his father might need, and his mother too. Hallelujah. He took care of, he was taking care of his family. He was taking care of the elderly. See, that's the thing that we again have gotten away from, that we don't want to take care of our elderly. We don't want to take care of our mothers and fathers and uncles and aunts once they have gotten old. We want to throw them into a room uh, by themselves in a strange home where they don't know nobody, where nobody's really looking after them, and we want to think that we're doing our 
family of daughterly duty to our parents and to the elderly, which we're not. We're not. There was a time that the elderly, they would stay at the home with the children until they died. Until they went to sleep. And they would help raise the children. They had why they had wisdom that they would share with the children. Yes. And they had a lot of wisdom. Hallelujah. And nowadays these younger folks are not getting that wisdom because they don't have time to spend with the elderly. They so much they're so busy on all of this electronic gadgets on on iPhones, iPads, cell phones, whatever not, that they don't have time to spend with the elderly. See? That's an evil. And that's a wickedness. We need to learn how to spend more time even with one another. I'm in. We got to, you know. We can't let these cell phones and these electronic gadgets be a substitute for our keeping company with. You know, we should be talking to one another, showing one another love, having mercy upon one another. Hallelujah. And we got to get back. To the old way, we would ask you who for forgiveness and ask them to help us to spend what more time with one another, with our parents, spending more time with our parents while they still have the life, while they still have the breath, while the blood is still coursing in them. Uh, when they pass, when they die, first thing we want to do, we want to boo hoo, we want to cry, and act and act back like how much we miss them when we really didn't spend no time with them. So how is it? We didn't spend time with them while we're here. How is it we going to say that we missed them? We'd be nothing but liars and hypocrites. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to spend time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And though we say we're busy, but we're just going to have to make time. Sure enough. And that's more important than some of the materialistic things that we're doing. Sure is. That's more important. Those of you that have your mothers and have your dads, you should spend more time with them and let them know how much that you love them. Yeah. I tell you, I, 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 I miss my parents, I miss my father, I miss my mother, you know. I miss them very much. And sometimes I want to cry out and talk to them. And I envy those that do have fathers and have mothers that they should be what talking with them, spending time with them, you know. But once they're gone, it's too late. You can't change anything. Hallelujah. Spend time with your children. Hallelujah, if you can. Thank you, you. Okay, number sixteen. Sixteen. Number sixteen. And to his mother, Rachel, also four times a year between the time of the month, between plowing and reaping, and between autumn and the rain season, and between winter and spring, to the tower of Abraham. For Yishak had returned from the well of the oak, and had gone up to the tower of his father Abraham, and he dwelt there apart from his son Esau. For in the, in the days when Jacob went to Abram Nahirim, Esau took to himself a woman of Metalla, the daughter of Yishmael. And he gathered together all the flocks of his father and his women and went up and dwelt in Mount Sinai, and left Yishak, his father, at the wall of, at the well, excuse me, at the well of the oak, alone. He left his father. He saw, did not want to take care of his father. 
and his heart was not right. See, he it always went against what his father wanted him to do. How he wanted, how his father wanted him to walk in the ways of Yahuwah, of him, which Esau would not do. He followed the path of evil. He followed the path of wickedness, of sin. If he knew something was going to be displeasing to his father, that is what he did. Mm -hmm. And we have children these days Just when like they it. know that if they're going to displease their parents, that's what they're going to go up there and do. You know, they don't have to have a reason. Just because what they know and they think or perceive is going to displease their parents, that's what they do, try to hurt their parents. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand, it's not your parents that you're hurting. It's, it's yourself. Come out here, hallelujah. It's yourself that you're hurting. Because you're getting further and further away from Yahuwah Elohim. You're getting further away from Yahushua homicide when you do things like that. So be careful on how we walk. Amen. Yes, yes. And Yishak, number 19, And Yishak went up from the well of Oak and dwelt in the tower of Abraham his father on the mountain of Chevron. And thither Yehikah sent all that he did sin to his father and his mother from time to time, all they needed. And they beruk Yehikah with all their heart and with all their soul. See, he was a loving son. He took care of his parents. Make sure that we, and it's time for us to take care of our parents, that we just try our best to take care of our parents. To help as much as possible, and none of our parents were perfect. No, no. And so, and neither yeah. as we, and we, as we were not perfect as parents either. Amen. So sure. let us have that forgiving heart, have a forgiving heart. Yes. At all times. Hallelujah. I know we said something. Be the root that I help make it to the kingdom. Be the root. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you.